coming to the live broadcast is your host, Laughing Raptor, for the Laughing Raptor stream. Welcome to the Raptor Pack, everybody. We are here. Let's do this again. I am neither wearing my Zelda hat nor a Zelda shirt. Why is this? Somebody tell me why. Somebody tell me why. I don't know. <clears throat> you know why? Because I don't know where it is. I don't know where either of them are. And I just wanted to get started. So... I just used whatever I have. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laughing Raptor stream. I hope that I am loud enough right now for you to be able to hear me. We're going to be trying to play some Breath of the Wild and finish this uh, specific... Specific, um, sp um, excuse me, specific specification. Oh, where's my... Hold on, hold on! I have a feeling that something has been moved. Oh, it's still there. Whoa, why is it all... This is combobulated. Oh, that's why. You know, it would be really well if I had for plugged in here. Hold on one second, guys. The uh, the cord for the Elgato is unplugged, so I need to figure out how to plug it back in. Give me one second. or given an angle of attack. Not that bad, not that bad.
it is. Can you hear me? You can hear me, but you cannot see me. What is up with that? I am invisible. What? The ama- The amazing invisible raptor! Why? What is what is up with that? Uh, okay. Uh I don't understand. What changed? What changed here? Uh, I didn't, yeah, I, uh, sure why that changed. I did not touch the camera. It won't let me, it won't let me, uh... It won't let me... Hi, Millennium Dragon. It won't let me hit the properties or refresh or anything. This is... very strange. I might need to stop OBS and open it back up again, which means... you all will have to... Come back. Hopefully it doesn't disengage my stream. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't touch the camera. I don't understand what happened. I did not touch the camera. Okay. I'm back. Hi, guys. Ah. <sighs> Excuse me while I drink some ginger ale. <sighs> wow. Okay. Well, for all of you who are here, for all of you who are here. Every time I hear this music, I feel like there should be elves and frolicking. Yes. Indeed. The elves fr Hello, Millennium Dragon, right here in my face. Um, elves frolicking. Or if you've ever played Small World, the elves who smell the flowers. 
<laughs> Wish Captain was here right now. He'd understand that. Somebody text Captain and let him know that I'm on live right now. In fact, someone... Someone could... Hello, shooty shooty! Um... Somebody... Somebody could post in the Discord as well if they wanted to. So, last time we left off, we were in the middle of one of the trials, and it was the one where I get that weird weapon where I can one-hit enemies, but I also die in one hit. So, I believe that I can start from where I left off with that. We shall see. I don't know. But we're gonna complete it tonight. <clears throat> and before I go attack Ganon, I need to assure that I have a set date for a stream where I can have a whole crew present. Hello, Yobi! Weird weapon! You mean like this laser sword? Hello, Yobi. Wow, we've got a whole good crew here going on right now. The whole crew. We've got some Dragon, we've got some Schecterhead, we've got some Sudi Sudi, Yobi, and Key Lime. <sighs> That's a good group. Alright. I guess... Whoa! Nelly! I guess we will, uh, we'll get started here. Let's, let's, let's jump into it. Let's jump into it, shall we? And there's headphones here. Let's see where we left off. Ah, I don't know what's gonna going on with the knobs on that dresser, but I like it. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what this is either. I honestly don't know what this is. I don't know what happened. But I don't know what it is. Um. I'm not quite sure how it ended up like this. But, sure. Wait a minute. I wanted to do it the other way. There we go. Too much! <sighs> Too much! Okay. I also have mac and cheese. I'm going to be eating mac and cheese. Ow. Software update. Ready to start system update. The update will not take long. Okay. Once we'll we'll just yeah, okay. Fine. Ah, that's funny. That is funny. Oh man. So, oh, we gotta make sure we keep track of this little remote thing for the, the lights in here. We still have Mifa up here. Since we got Mifa. We got, we got like the, the stabs going on. We got Megamine with the stab. We've got Mifa with a stab. We have Loki with a stab somewhere. Thank you. This is Lord of the Rings. In case you, uh, wanted to know. Ah, uh, we're back. Okay. So now, let's see if 
see where we're at. Or from our last save, what happens when I load it. <laughs> Love you, shirt. Wait a minute. Hmm. Love you, shirt. Okay, let's try this now. All right, we're by the shrine. Yep, we're right by the shrine. Rota Chica Shrine with this bird. So let's see what happens when I go and load this game, shall we? Let's see if I'm still in the middle of this or if I have to start from the beginning. Love Sonic staring at you in the background. Let's see, which Sonic is it here? Sonic. Oh, yeah. Sonic's back here. <laughs> All right, here we are. Let's check. Two of four left to go. Hey, I love it. All right. Three swords here. Let's go to this champion's ba Ah, the champion's ballad. That's what it is. I should change what my... Let's see if I can change it. Can I change it? Champions Ballad. Champions. All right. There we go. Now my title says Champions Ballad. And we're gonna go that way. That's some bees. I'm not gonna take that, honey. I am gonna take this wonderful looking meat and that boomerang. I can't take the boomerang. I can't take that sword either, but I should make note that there's a sword here. Remember, FEMA and FCC plan nationwide emergency test for October 4th, 2023. All TVs, radios, and cells. Yep. That'll happen tomorrow. I think around 2 o'clock. Creepy music again. What was it that the bird said? I'm curious. I'm gonna go back in for a second. I wanna refresh on what the bird said. I have a feeling that this was a bird that I could have run across at the beginning of the game. I saw something around 2.20, but it could be, it could be at any point in the day. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sure, let's hear the song oh. one more time.
than the breath of the wild. Curious indeed, as it were, I pursued my teacher's old notes and found that song there. Mmm, mm, that sort of sound could alarm a horse so effectively. Kabam, kapow, rumble, rumble, honestly, I haven't a clue. Oh. It certainly helps to visit the locations that inspired the song. Yes, it helps open my mind to inspiration. Those notes had other interesting songs, too. I plan to visit those locations as well. I had a little bit of Barbosa in there. Yes. Huh, old school Paris music, man. Yeah, old school music, old school game music, old school Paris music. All right, now we're going to the next place. Why are the bees chasing me? Oh, and there's more bees there. Good, okay. Why does everything look so bleak? Temple of Time! Face me! There are guys on horses here. They almost saw me. I better save before they see me more. Except that's not even where all the enemies are. Or maybe they are. Wait, why are they all? Oh, fine. Come at me. Yeah, you, you, I don't think you see me. There you go. That's a skeleton horse, man. All right, you know what? Shit up. Ah. Yeah, you know what? Good job. Good job. You <laughs> dodging my arrows. I shot two arrows at you and you dodged them. Good job. Cass, yep, his music. Babies are asleep finally. Somehow I have the opening part of Macarena in my head now. Yep, yep, yep. Full dingus, full dingus, right there. I I shot two arrows at him and he jumped away. Come here, give me a hug. A hug. Oh, gosh. Why? Oh my gosh, really? I wasted all my arrows on that. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Man, th this bow? Really? Ser 
No, 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 I cannot. I cannot. I can not. I'm three feet in front of him, and it's still not. You kidding me? I can't. No, I can't. No, never. Not with that many arrows wasted. Uh-uh. Sorry. Holy moly. Anybody else? I like this bow. I want. I, I want. I want. I want a skeleton horse. Can I tame a skeleton horse? What is up with that? Oh. What if I could tame a skeleton horse? Can I register a skeleton horse? Moblin, half a heart, or I mean, uh, have a heart. Ha ha ha. Okay. So, key lime. Will I lose this horse after this test? So I cannot register. A skeleton horse. Oh, 
Do they say something? Ooh, I'm getting ban banned, people. Bots. Headshot. I like this bow. Five arrows. Dead. All right, who's left? I have this thing trying to find rush rooms, so it keeps going off. Where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Yep. Yep. Man, okay. You have a- oh my goodness, you have a horn too? Or I can do it that way. Like that. Okay. I, I need a different bow. Are you going to jump up on the rock or not?
okay. Well, that gave me an Four advantage. An angle of attack. Angle of attack. Not that bad. Not that bad. Angle of attack. A. A. Oh man, I totally missed that. Now he's over there. Yep. All right, is he gonna spit through the rock again? I could just do this all day long. those free powers. No, I've got one more. Oh dear. <laughs> Note to self, do not run into the spikes. Okay, I want to find more arrows. There might have been some on this ridge here, because he was an he was a bowman. Okay. We are going to register this! Oh, do I want to save? Maybe. I'll think about it. Someone let Captain know that I'm live. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're doing... Oh. 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 Ah. All right, here we go. What? A 
test of strength. When I have one hit. That's hilarious. I'm sure. That was the easiest major test of strength I've ever done. Bomb arrows! What? What? We've got an impression. <clears throat> John Wayne. Well, if you ask me, partner, there's a new addition. And I don't know if you want to be doing this new addition or not. But I'm telling you, this is not what it used to be. The so, partner. We're going to jump down this hole and we're going to see what it is. And that's that. Well, my name's not John Wayne. There's, oh, there's more to this. This this is more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh 
that one's that one's not nice. It's one of those. Okay, so how do I get past this guy? I can get him in one hit. <clears throat> this is interesting. No way to go back up there. And there's no way to get up there. So I have to get past this guy. I do it. It's a risk. It's a risk, but I think I can do it. It worked! Yes! It worked. get to that chest, huh?
Fine. I didn't really want to do that, but since I can only be downed in one hit, I'll, I'll do this. Alright. Easier than I expected. I do like giant ancient cores. Okay. Small key. More? What kind of monstrosity of a shrine is this? one right in front of me. Oh, no! Where did those guys come from? Oh, I have a key still. A major test of strength. No kidding. Oh. It saved, it saved my progress. Well, that's nice. Well, that's really nice. It saved my progress, that's, that's incredible. That is one way to do it, folks. was so small I didn't quite see how much the tip was far Woo! okay Wow we got a tip we got a tip we got a tip we got a tip 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 Thank you so much, Sooty Sooty! Woo! Thank you! 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 Thank
thank you for that 60 bucks. We got a 60 bucks. No, the key line. We have a. Uh, I need to maybe make the text just a little bit bigger on that one. Uh, oh, Keelan, I'm just that when it, the the amount that it said was tipped, I couldn't see quite on my screen because it was a little bit small. Bye bye. I was really hoping to save some... <laughs> uh, I like this. I have an idea. Oh, I've got an idea. I'm just gonna have to do it with an arrow. I was hoping to save those arrows, but oh well. Thank you for announcing it. Okay. But of course! Oh, I've got to find that. I've got to find that clip. That would be a great clip. different than these battle axes? Ancient battle axe. Oh, they're just the battle axe. Keylime, did you do this shrine? This shrine is like one complicated mess after another. It keeps going. Hmm. <laughs> 
amazing. Holy moly cajoli. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I'm going to save. Cause we got one more left, boys. And girls. Peoples. Everybody. We're going over the mountains. before I have in the past yeah I did I have been here in the I've got to go to Mount Hylia please tell me that there's no Lionels there I really don't want to deal with that River of the Dead go climbing up the mountains <laughs> it's way up there isn't it I got slapped by a skeleton and died. That is the most undignified death ever. Sure, we're just gonna do it this way. Can I fast travel?
Cool. I am further up now. There's a hammer! <laughs> I'm climbing up to Mount Hylia. Because that's where the last place is. And I got slapped by a skeleton. make those lattes now. When I put my espresso maker back, apparently I didn't dry it out enough, so I had to rewash it. Well, awesome! Lattes sound great! <laughs> apparently I've never gone to Mount Hylia before! I see smoke! you found me, but... Wow. Oh, good. Oh dear, oh dear. He's oh no. I hate those guys. Okay, so I'm gonna save right here because I'm in a strategic place that I could try and uh I'm gonna try to blow this guy up. The smithereens. This one this one wizard. One wizard is going to be the death of me.
You're on fire, buddy. You're also on fire. This is going to take a while. I wish I had more arrows. Keep blowing them up. Yep. This is a great place to be if I had more arrows. Yep. I mean, my weapon only makes it one hit kill, but when I'm uh, surrounded by a lot of them, mm -mm. bad news bears. You ran right into that. Wow. Yep. That skeleton hand that he's holding. Ooh, gotcha. Yep. I dare you. I dare you go check it out. That was easy. Yep. Yep. Ha down the hill. Yep. Down the hill you go, into the water. Go. Bye bye. Ooh, I almost got the bat. Yep. The keys. Just playing, you know, playing ball with all these guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, come on! Ah! So close! I want him to go in the water. Oh, man. There we go. Got the bat. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah! Oh, man, he went almost all the way down to the water that time. Yes! I think he's finally gone. Oh, oh, now he goes into the water. Yep. <laughs> Oopsies. Got him again! Got him again! This is the long game. Got their stuff there. Ooh, got him. Ooh, latte. I love you a latte. Yeah. All right, just. Look at my new tattoo. Yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. Hi. Hi. Yeah. You're almost done. I am almost done. This is the last. GM Lucas! Who are you? I followed an old man. Who are you? I followed an old man. <laughs> I got younger. You're Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button. That's. I'm the same person. Look at my tattoo. I'm exactly the same person. I guess, yeah, that's a great tattoo. <laughs> great tattoo.
And I just got younger. Yeah, I'm glad you can yep. play this. That's fun. Yep. Whew. Yeah, glad you can play it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Words are hard. Yep, words are hard. I'm just curious what's at the top of this. Oh. There's probably a no, that's probably like Korok, Korok or something like here. that. It would be a Korok. Yeah. Hey. I found Amber here! What? I don't know why. I, well, what's the there must be something else. What is the significance of this? Okay. Alright, let's see what happens when I do this! Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, let's yep. hey, cause some so havoc. Down there. I was that dude that was crushing it in the haunted house game and threw oh, it. No, that's right. That game, you never know what's gonna happen at the end. Of yep. It. I wish I had arrows. This is definitely the long game, but it worked. Yeah. It, it, it works. I will gladly stand yep. atop Mount Hylia and lob my Hylian <laughs> bombs. Okay. <clears throat> you don't remember what? It being a silver bomb. Yeah. The the silver are the hardest. And did you do the the one shrine that was a mighty test of strength or something. And no, if it was ever a test of strength, I didn't do it. Okay. Well, there was one that I did a test of strength, and I took my weapon and one shot at it. A silver weapon? <clears throat> no, a, one of the the guardians, the, in the shrine. What? The and it was a major ma major test of strength. What? How and did I you do that? because it's a one shot weapon. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So I went inside and used the one shot weapon. But get this. With that particular shrine, I went to go get my spirit orb, but it was a button instead. And it lowered the platform back down where the guardian came from, and I had to jump down, and it was a whole nother shrine that I had to do with a bunch of other guardians. Like, you know, like... Shrine within a shrine? Well, it was just a big shrine. After the major test of strength, I had to descend where the guardian came what? out What? And there was more of the shrine to finish before I got... To the actual I've never heard of that being sage thing. or whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is my first time getting to try the champion's ballad stuff, so. Yeah, you're definitely in for a treat. Yeah. It's a great DLC. There's no spoilers, please! Almost done. I should put no spoilers in my description. I forgot to do that. Okay. It's in your. I think it's in your tag. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it's in your rules, usually. But if not, we'll just. Hey! Even the square ones throw down. <clears throat> whoop, 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 whoop. You never spoil it, it's too good. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Grown <laughs> so far away. Yeah, I'm gonna switch my tactic here. Because of the slope. Oh, yes. no. yep. oh, there we go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, that was nice. Woo! -hoo. I have to creep up on the from behind him and. Well, you do have the yeah the one shot. The one shot. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, he's not moving, is he? I'm entitled the Breath of the Wild Encyclopedia for literally all of my streamers that have ever played by Breath of the Wild. Yep. Oh. Ah. The Breath of the Wild Encyclopedia. Well, why did it go all the way over there? Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it just saved. If you have any questions, we'll ask you. I'm just gonna full send it. Alright, ready? True. If I take my boots off, will I? He hasn't yet. He's been doing basically everything before the ending. If I, I take my boots off, am I quieter? I don't think so. Because I don't think your armor is necessarily louder. It's just you could put on some armor. You're, I mean, you're pretty quiet. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> it's like Iggy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I pressed the X button instead of Y. That is so funny. It was, like, it was a sneak down. attack. I was like, come on, he's right there. Latte, 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 latte. You mean you're not part of it? Surprising. Yeah, these fetch a pretty price. Etsukomiya! I mean, Etsukorima! The final one, everyone! The final one! The final one! Here we go. How long does raptor fingies last? Ah, a couple minutes. Let's see, do I have them still? I have one raptor fingy. Where did my raptor fingies go? I had four of them. Yeah, I have one. Once I beat all the enemies, then it was killed by bees on the way to the sh Oh my gosh, that would be... That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Raptor fingies. I only have one of my raptor fingies. I need to find my other raptor fingies. I don't know what happened to them. Oh no! Say it isn't so! Path of Light. Okay, so, Key Lime. 
Picture this, but with no lights. That's what that island was. They're gonna be guardians. What's the catch? Thank you, Lucas! I will definitely call for a hint if I, if I need one. I appreciate it. Okay, what's the catch? That was pretty simple. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, I will say. I will say. If I had arrows, then I could do this. Are there any hidden chests in here? Oh, that's true. Well, everyone does it a little bit differently. Ooh. Oh, boy. seen the trilogy many many times I have not seen rings of power yet Ooh. 
There's two of them. Three of them. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I know, right? All right, speed run. Thanks for the tip. Anyone else want some? Okay, they were easier to take care of than I expected. Good. Now, last shrine, I was able to put stasis on them, but these, I did not. Why does it all look weird? Why does it look weird? Why does it look weird? Okay, oh. We're entering light. With fire. What happens if I go back down? The lights go out. But if I go back up... Uh... Don't do it, don't go back. What do you mean? Scary. Scary. Does anyone else want some? Typically famous last words before getting served. That's, that's true. All right. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks of a promise, hero. Speaks to the promise of a... In the name of God, as highly I bestow upon him a spirit orb!
have an impression. Impression time. Captain Jack Sparrow. You know, if you wanted to have one orb or two, then you could make it nine. If you had nine of the orbs, then you could make it all the way to Tartuga, and you could sell them all for a pretty penny. But if you sell them all, then make sure you keep one of them, because you want to make sure that you make it seem like you're selling all nine of them. And if you're selling all nine of them, but you keep one, but you play it off like they're going to get it delivered to their abode, and you get to keep one, and you get to go where it goes, and you get to fly across the seas. That's exactly what the squid told me. Remember that. You didn't... Is there rum in my latte? Sips coffee. We should do another Hot Ones after the men's retreat. Maybe. I am Maz Kushia. You have done well to conquer the trials laid before you. You are Hyrule's beacon of hope. But your trials have only just begun. The divine weapon shall lead you. Now that you have proven your power, a new journey awaits. Go to the four locations that will be revealed to you, and the reach will greater heights than ever before. Wow! I have hearts again! Oh, now the creepy cold music. Well, I'm near Nabortus. All right, let's go. I have only just begun. Great. What does that mean? Is there really nothing else around here? I'm standing on the pinnacle of the rock. Oops, I fell off the pinnacle of the rock. Hey. 
there. These are all associated with the Divine Beasts. I can tell that. I have an inkling I'm going to have to fight these things again. If that's so... Why well, don't just for nostalgia's sake... Go in reverse order, since I'm right here. Yeah, I could do that. Oh no, is that a guardian? What's there? Why? Why is there a guardian there? Why is there another guardian there? This is not good. Get away from me. Ooh, rush rooms. The only way I've been able to kill the guardians are with the big, like, barrel breaker thing. Stop. Get away. Get away. Get away. I'm out of here. Just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing. Transport out fast, yeah. He turned around. He gave up. Okay, I'm safe. Whew. All right. I gotta keep climbing. I see another one. I see another restroom. Yes, I see another restroom right there. Right there. I'm taking the shortcut. I'm trying to climb the whole way. Rob Next! How are you, my friend? How are you? Good to see you! <laughs> Oh, I hear Cass. Let's see if I can get both of these in the same run. I bet I can. I am doing well. I'm trying to work on this champion's ballad thing. I think Cass is somewhere here. But I also see a bunch of rush rooms! Ooh. I want to climb faster. Yep. Now Legend of Zelda is immortalized on Key Lime's wrist.
Ocarina of Time for me specifically. There he is. of them here. Excuse me while I get on my rush rooms. go. I applaud your courage in coming here. The location that will be revealed to you are the trials that will enhance your power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Was that a flash of light? Uh, perhaps it was my imagination playing tricks on me. Oh? Hmm? How strange to see someone else at this ample, ample altitude. I wonder what brought him here. Oh! How embarrassing! I'm afraid traveling on my own encourages me to talk to myself on occasion. Oh, this monument! I must admit, it has taken me by surprise. <clears throat> my teacher's unfinished song mentions such monuments, and now one has appeared before my eyes. Mm. Yes, the song is mostly complete. However, my teacher left this world without finishing the key verses. I wish to weave this missing the missing pieces together and finish the song. Oh. That's why I'm roaming the areas mentioned in the lyrics. Ah, such a rush of happiness I feel at the beginning at being able to sing while the divine beast watches over us. <clears throat> what what? Uh Oh, no. I think so. Huh. Tattoo, tattoo, tattoo! Lucas asks, how do you choose between two girls? So, what, are there, like, there are two people that you're interested in? Is that what you're saying? I feel it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Such a rush of happiness I feel at being able to sing while the divine beast watches over us. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse. A blah, blah, blah. I'm. I, I didn't read it. Lightning King of the Desert. Naburis' champion. The stalwart. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments, show. One, fight the brute of the sand. Two, chase rings upon the land. Three, throw the orb underground. 
champion, trials abound. So, did the verse move you? It was written in honor of the champion challenging the trial. <clears throat> ah. Ah. It's as though the champions are speaking to me through the song. I hear their silent plea for its completion. That's why I must learn more about the champions of Hyrule's past. Luckily, the Gerudo chief, Riju, and her guard, Bularia, Buliara, they always do that, shared some precious tales of their champion with me. I'm grateful I was able to visit Gerudo town, even though I had to, well, leave my comfort zone a bit. Okay! So, I have three places on the map. On a map. Here we go. So, you have two girls that you are interested in. Do you have an idea whether they're interested in you? We have an impression. Nick Cage. Alright, for one, though. Is it the Champion's Gate? <laughs> yeah, I understand that. I remember the days where I'd talk to people I couldn't really tell whether they, they were it was just them being nice or if it was a something extra. Well, I probably have some advice for you, but let me, uh, as I'm trying to figure some of this out, let me think on it. Ah. Yeah, exactly. I mean... Because both both Key Lime and I have had experience different experiences in that in that realm. Now remember some of this you know, like we're gonna be speaking from a certain age point. I'm not asking you to reveal your age. So you do not have to reveal your age, but you know, some of this depends <laughs> on like, you know, what age you are what stage of life that you are in. I think that's where this is. That's the that's the water edge. That is the greenery, so it's right there. That's the Yiga hideout. Oh, why? Ah! Why do I have to go to the Yiga hideout again? Oh, please, why? Okay, so the Yiga hideout. You're in high school, okay. All right. Yeah, so that's understandable. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, if one isn't interested, it makes it clear, but if both are interested, then you want to just, you know, tread carefully how you interact with them, just because, um, Keelan, I can let you speak to this too, but I know it, you know, especially around 
a high school age. Girls can kind of trail off and, and take things, places in their own heads. Um, so that's what makes it complicated for the guy if they just want to get to know the girl, you know, without it being like, oh, I'm <laughs> trying to make a move here or something. But uh, I agree with Key Lime. Um, high school girls are always thinking about marriage. <laughs> just a warning, yeah. And don't get me wrong, like, you know, when you're looking for someone, um, the first piece of advice I could give you as a guy is really think about not just the here and now, um, but think about future. Not saying, oh my gosh, I need to start thinking about, like, marriage right away, but when you're trying to choose someone to date, or if there's someone that you like, you want to also think about compatibility long term. And that means, like, if you are with them 24-7, um, through highs and lows, is this someone that you could see staying with in marriage, you know? Um... <laughs> that would make me a high school. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> it was totally okay to think about it. Um, that, and that's what I'm saying is, you know, you, you want to think in terms of if I'm going to date somebody, not just dating, just be like, oh, everyone's dating someone, so I'm just going to date someone just because. Uh, because that's where, you know, feelings can get hurt, hearts can get broken and things like that. Um so as the guy, you want to be thinking, you know, as I'm getting to know this person, could I see this going long term? And you're not going to know the answer to that after like the first couple of times spending time with each other. It's really like that's the hard part is that you have to. It takes a little bit of time to get to really know somebody. Most girls at any age are thinking of marriage. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. At, at, I can't speak for girls, but I feel like at the core, they really want someone to marry that can take care of them. Not saying girls aren't competent to take care of themselves, but from an emotional standpoint, they desire someone to take care of them long term and protect them. Um, I always tell people to see how they how they interact with people younger than them, people older than them. And animals. If they are kind to those, that's good. that's good signs. Yes, that's true. Women want to be protected and secure. They love to be cared for. Of course, it's a generalization. Yeah, exactly. You have some women who just, like, they're fine with being single, and they just want to do their own thing. But I would say most women, you know, at, at their core, whether they realize it or not, they really desire... You know, that's that soulmate or partner or whatever you want to call it that they can share a life with. Um, so. But yeah, like Keylime says, um, you want to see how they treat people, how they how they, you know, do they respect authority people older than them um, how do they treat people younger than them because uh, the one thing to realize is people do change from high school to college to later on in adulthood but <clears throat> you can't just bank on something changing if you see something that's like ah, I don't know how if I feel if, you know they're treating people that way um You've got, you've got to give them a chance, but you also can't say, oh, it'll, it'll, it'll get fixed later. It'll just fix it later, or I'll try to fix them later. No, that's not really the right way to go about it to start, at least, you know. Key Lime and I, since we're married now, we have a trust between us, and so we can tell each other things that we notice about each other that are like, hey, you know what, you should probably think about making an improvement here but we have a way of talking with each other that where there's well, that trust. Me, princess. <laughs> yeah, I, 
yeah, we do, though. Now it's just gonna make me look bad. No, we have a trust between each uh, of communication, um, and that trust takes time to develop with somebody. So you've known them both for about, um, almost, almost two years. Got it. <laughs> no, I'm perfect. Um, anyway, Lucas, I don't mean to ramble, ramble, ramble. If you have other questions, um, feel free to ask. I talked to another streamer about how I was with Julia, and I saw her with a toddler. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. Um, I saw her with a toddler, and we kept looking at each other and laughing, and I, I kept thinking about how I can't help but think, is this my future? Uh, that, that's, I mean, it's so deep, it's so scary. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> now, um, so you were with Julia, and you could see how she was interacting with a toddler, and you're like, hey, I like this. That's really cute. Yeah. And it's and it's fine for you to be like, hey, I could I could see a future with this person. Just know that people have room to grow, and there might be some like a core of someone might stay the same, but periphery things will change. That makes it sound like you observed her really well with a toddler, and that will change when she's older. That's not what I meant to say. Keylime can clarify what I'm trying to say. She understands what I'm trying to say. Basically, I'm saying, don't look at one thing in high school and be like, yep, that's it for the future, because more life is going to hit you later in life. And you need to be able to trust that person, be with that person when life hits you. Um, anyway, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at with that. Keylime can clarify for me. Then there's Kara. So what is, what is Kara like? Rock salt. There are guardians here. What is that? Oh, I haven't even gone there yet. Oh, really? Now, is this something that she's, like, contributing to? Oh, got it. Okay. Now, it, is she, like, does she know it and buy into it? Or is it just because she happens to be that person that everyone likes? Yes, she can clarify once she gets off the floor. <laughs> All right. So the Yiga clan hideout is one place. Oh, next to that. I would say that's it. And then the hideout place. 
way up here to come here again. Oh, it annoys her at times. Okay. See, that... That's a pleasant sign that... Because I know, like, knowing what I know now... If I could tell my high school self... Don't go after a girl who knows she's attractive and she's kind of inviting it because that could go off into some territory that I would not wish on the girl. Um, I would feel bad for her. Um, if she has that mindset of, I kind of don't really like this, then that means she's got a better head on her shoulders and she's not seeking that attention. Oh, did you miss something? I was trying to explain um, the concept of, like, he he observed um, the first girl, Julia, working well with a toddler, and I was trying to say, like, it's great that you could see that there and say, I could, I could see a future with her. But remember to give room for people to grow and change because there's a lot of life that's still going to come around the corner um and it makes it sound like she's not gonna like toddlers later in life that's not what i mean uh it's just you know just be aware that life will come and hit in different ways um as time goes on and so you have to just take that into account when you choose someone so i asked for keelam to clarify what i was saying because i figured keelam you would understand what i'm trying to say and not trying to give the wrong impression. Julia's brother Carter acts like Kara's bodyguard. Interesting. That's interesting. You and I are both so different from when we were just dating. That's true. I mean, like, when life... Well, we also got pregnant really early into our marriage. And that... That was unexpected. So... Thank you for asking all this, Lucas. I Like, this is the kind of stuff that I love to do. I love to be able to give advice to people. Like, real-life advice. I love having fun playing games and everything, but my my desire for doing these live streams is like being able to chat with people on, you know, larger real life things. And I don't know everything. Um, we don't know everything, but we, we do have a strong marriage and we have learned a lot from our journey. Oh, he's the biggest symbol of all time. Ah... Yeah, see, the simp thing, it, it's an unfortunate truth that happens where on both sides, there are girls who are going to, who eat it up and kind of egg it on. And then there are tons of guys who are just like, I'll do anything for this girl, but there's no substance to it. Like, don't, they don't truly mean what they're saying. In my opinion, the psychology of this is that they... They don't truly mean what they're saying. Like, are they going to marry her? Are they going to be willing to set aside hopes and dreams to be with her? Um, when, you know, she's at her low, lowest of lows, where because life has hit for some reason, are they going to be by her side? Um, there are going to be times when she's not as attractive because you know it's for, like a simple example is like there might there'll be days where she's not able to wear makeup or whatever and you might think well what it like what i'm trying to say is the simping thing is this fake it's it's this fake obsession um with some I don't know. <laughs> I 
Yeah. It. There's just uh, there's so much I could say. There's so much I could say about it. So many opinions that I have about the simping. Um, there's no rooted attraction. Well, there's an attraction, but it's all feelings oriented and oh my gosh she's so attractive so hot or whatever um but are you attracted to the person like the inner person inside who they are like when you're when you grow old together are you still going to be attracted to the person because everyone grows old youthful beauty fades and i can guarantee you that 99 percent of the simps out there are not those kind of guys who are going to be like, yeah, I'll be with you to the end. I will stand by your side and I will defend you and I will give up my own life for you. You know, that's just, yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's my little tiny rant on simps. Like it just, I don't know how it started, but it's all fueled by, yeah, see like, you're one you're someone who can see like beyond just the physical looks now don't get me wrong like physical looks are a thing you're like um you don't need to go find someone you're you're not physically attracted to and be like well i i can't t think about looks so i'm gonna go pursue this person over here you're gonna be physically attracted to somebody um i was physically attracted to key lime but there are things about her that i discovered that drew me to her even beyond her looks. And so, like, when we are both 80 years old and we look like old people, she'll still be the woman of my dreams because I'm attracted to something so much deeper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, it's interesting how you hear this term, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, um, where someone will say, oh, that person looks 10 out of 10. And the other person next to them will be like, no, 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 no I mean, seven out of, this person's 10 out of 10 over here. And they'll be like, wait, you really? Um, there is a, <laughs> like a societal like view of beauty but I think that's just because of, you know, certain trends and things of what they, what general society calls beautiful. But I just always think, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And someone you find attractive, someone next to you might not. Um, you know, it's just I've experienced this with my brother. My brother is attracted to certain types that I'm not. And... Um, both are out that's that's okay because everyone is made unique so uh that was one place that was one place now i just gotta figure out where the third one is ah rudo town Ruins. The four dots. And the... Ha! <sighs> Somewhere around here. right here I found the three places both are super athletic but Julie is more curvy and Julie is more fit okay got it well it sounds like you find them both physically attractive um, and if Julie is athletic then yeah I could see how like she would have maybe more of a toned body Best advice I can add is if both the girls are interested in you, have a sit-down conversation to see whose life goals match with you. Yeah. 
And essentially, yeah, Rob, what Rob Max is saying essentially is find ways to get to know them. Which I know is hard, like, especially in the high school ages, where, like, how do you ask a girl, hey, could I just get to know you without it seeming like, hey, I want to talk about marriage, you know? There's both super protected. Mm, super protected by who? I'd be curious to know, like... Oh my goodness, okay. Three areas. What is that? Have I been up there? Mount Grenage. I have not been up Mount Grenage. I suppose I could go up Mount Ganage. See what's at the top. Oh, what is all that? I'm just so curious what all that is. Oh, her parents. Well, that and that's the that's a whole nother thing is um you want to develop good relationships with the parents of the person that you want to start dating too. Um, that goes a long way. And if they're like, we don't want her to date anybody. My, my personal advice is you always want to respect the wishes of the parents. Um, now, if she's over 18 and a legal adult, then the situation's slightly different. Um, but, you know, you always want to, you know, be in the good graces of the parents because I've known friends who have uh, essentially, like, gotten married and did not really cultivate the relationships with the parents and even did it against their will, essentially, even though they were fully able to make their own decisions because they were adults but i don't know <laughs> how their family life is you know it's it's just that's a complicated matter um yeah take it slow just be a friend and continue to be friends until something seems super clear yeah that's it sounds simple simplistic take it slow take it one step at a time but i truly stand by that um i had i had relationships that i took slow and i'm glad that i took it slow because they ended up not being the correct ones um and so it wasn't like things snowballed too fast and then i had to break it off um well, I, uh, well, I made a decision that was super clear with Julia, but Kara seems flirty. Oh, like she's, she likes you. But just because someone likes you doesn't mean that you have to like them back. Just remember that too. But like Keelime said, there's no rush for you. There's no rush right now to like secure a dating relationship. Because for me, um, I don't, I don't know what your um, religious beliefs are, but <laughs> ads worst time. Sorry, ads. One minute, 30 seconds until the. Uh... Yeah, let's go up this mountain.
Um. Okay. Um. You just made a decision that was super clear with Julia, but kerosene flirty. Yeah, so I was gonna say, like, um, and I know you, you mentioned that you are attracted to both of them, but you're not, remember, just because someone's attracted to you doesn't mean that you need to pursue them, so, um, but the other thing that I was gonna say was, and this is me, like, for me personally, I'm not sure what your re religious views are, but, um, I also weigh in God's plan in my life. Um, and that, and so what I'm basically saying is, like, there's no rush to jump into a dating relationship right away. Like Keyline was saying, you can take it one step at a time, you can take it slow until you can get to know them more, and just see what happens. And I do, I do think that, I do believe that, um, God steers people, you know, together as well. So, I mean, take take that as you will. Um, ooh, we're getting up into the high mountains here. Oh, you're Christian all the way? So am I, brother, so am I. Um... So, I, I put a lot of weight in, you know, God's timing and trying not to jump ahead of his timing. Now, I, I'm an extra cautious person. My personality, like, I, I don't jump into things easily. But I'll tell you this. I got to the point where I was terrified to even ask girls on coffee dates because... I didn't want to lead them on. I was just, I just, I was like, I'm going to lead them on by even just asking for a coffee date. Um, and by the time that I had met Key Lime, um, we actually all part of a Christian. Oh, really? <laughs> and see, here's the thing, like, you know, all being a part of a Christian, Christian school, that, that also changes the environment too. Um, def we'll definitely pray for that. Definitely pray for that. <laughs> Friends and beliefs say, The sea breeze blows the pelican the same way he wanna go. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so I got to the point where I couldn't ask girls out. I was so, I, I stifled my own self. Um, in order to go on a date with Key Lime, my first date with her, I, th I believe God orchestrated using friends, um, to set it up for us and basically gave my number. They came to me and said, can we give your number to a friend of ours, meaning Key Lime? And I had to say yes, but I didn't need to make the first move, per se, other than give my number out. And then it was Key Lime, up to Key Lime to contact me. And then I had to say yes. And they, com um, as and they compare that to how the Spirit leads us. Yeah. The Spirit will lead you. Like, just listen to, the, listen to the Holy Spirit in situations. Um... But you're in good company here, Lucas. You're in good company. So, um, we'll keep that in prayer. And if you have more questions, please ask. Um, hopefully some of this advice has helped, or at least allow you to, to process it. Um, yeah, we're here to help with whatever we can. I figured there was a Korok up here. I figured so. Bye bye, Rock. All the way down. Okay. I wish I had a cooking pot. What's going on over there?
Go slow, brother. Go slow. Yeah. No need to rush. There is a shrine down there. But it's way down there. I do want to head this direction. Got an enemy there. I wish I had more stamina. Dishes. Okay, so I've got one. I've got one. Okay. I'm gonna try to float all the way down here. I'm not sure what these ruins are. I don't know what it is. I'm above the labyrinth! Ew. So how do I get there, huh? How do I get underneath? Huh. There are guys running on the top here. That's funny. There's a... There's a girl that lives in Tennessee, I'm in West Virginia, that I met at a camp meeting in North Carolina, and everyone was there was setting us up, and she made it absolutely clear that she liked me, but it's long distance. Oh. And you couldn't get your phone number. Walking on the labyrinth walls, that seems like cheating. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. But I made it from the mountains. Just gotta figure out how to get underneath. Can't go through there. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, long distance is hard. Um I mean I don't have experience with long distance. Uh, where did Key Lime go? That's a good question. She may have had to feed the baby. There's a shrine underneath, but I'm not sure how to get to it yet. Where does the labyrinth lead, I wonder? Where does the labyrinth lead? The baby's name is Archie. Sandstorms. Ah. 
How did I get so many ice arrows? Bye. Hold up. I think I found some stairs downward. Something one of my pastors here said is that when he was considering who to pursue in a relationship with, he thought of it like a marathon race. He wanted someone that he didn't have to chase down or drag along to keep up, but was running side by side with him. That is excellent advice. Okay. That was going up. And down. <sighs> need to get to the other side, because that's where the, it was. Oh, you were folding laundry! My pastor put it this way. If you're running toward God, a girl is running toward God, you have to bump into each other before you get there. The other- exact- like- like... What? It's- are you serious? It said it was gonna be here between... 6 and 10- 5 and 10. Same day. Both orders? Both orders? I took- I had two different orders. Ah! Okay. Um, for myself, I don't feel like I've found such a person, so... I'll, although, there have been... Uh, some interesting individuals. It has been very clear fairly quickly that it's not the right person or time, and it is better not to force it. Force what isn't there, yeah. That sounds like Amazon. Yeah, exactly. The only thing with the marathon thing is that in every relationship, you're going to be at different spaces in the marathon. So I think the willingness to run the race is the most important thing. Yeah. The running toward God thing is <coughs> the same thing you do in a marriage. You draw closer to each other when you're drawing closer to God individually. And... Um, I also heard someone say, serve the Lord, like, just love the Lord, do his work, and that person will come alongside you, because they'll be doing the same thing. So, because there are times I'm dragging Raptor with me, and there are times where he's dragging me along. Yeah, we're both willing to keep fighting and trying. Yeah, exactly. Keylime, are both orders not getting here until tomorrow? Because both said that they would get here. That's not what they said. Okay, well, what I would do is I would take the voices that I mastered those two tracks. Take the backtrack as well. Um, that's there. And use use that. It sounds pretty decent. Um Yeah, at least, at least use that. It sounds pretty decent. Uh, 
Going ahead and running the labyrinth here. I, I've got to go back to where I saw the shrine, which was, was close to this. Oh, it's in the center. Oh, so I could just drop there and then. That makes more sense to me than when he uses basketball metaphors. Yeah, exactly. I can climb. I can climb the walls. I'm just so used to not being able to climb the walls. So I found I'm there. I was for a while wondering about a possibility for a long distance thing earlier in the year, but very quickly we ended up finding that although we had much in common, we were in very different places and wanted different things in the immediate future. So it was better to let go and move on to a different direction. Yeah, and that's okay. If that's if that's how it ends up. Oh, I see. You get you see this when you first I guess we'll try this from scratch. We do, we go, um, we actually work at our church. Keyline beat me to it. Not as easy as it looks, huh? So we gotta find a way down. Huh? Yeah, I'm there. Like, I'm there each Sunday.
So one of these areas actually goes down further. Okay, so there's a gate. circle It's an interesting labyrinth when you can climb the walls. I can literally just you know, go every road. So I just went in a circle. A few guys from my teen group have surrendered uh, to be youth pastors and one surrendered to be a missionary. Got it. I do more things uh, that don't require being at the office or the site most of the time. Let's hope they keep the promises to God. Yeah. Maybe you could keep them in your prayers. Yeah. I definitely pray they remain faithful in whatever they have been called to do. Whatever it ends up looking like. Exactly. Many of the pastors and missionaries I've known have ended up in places they never expected when they started on those journeys. Yeah. God will call you to different things that you never really expected. Yeah. I'm cheating because I can. Caleb, did you ever do this? Oh, you did this? I have no idea whether that did anything or not. I think I just ended up back in this square one. Yeah. I... That's true. Alright, so I need to get further that direction.
Not sure why I didn't go this way before. So this area... It's nothing. All ins and outs. That side is nothing. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna first try to figure it out. Some torches. This is a good sign. I hope you have a good relationship with the youth pastor. Uh, oftentimes, they have a, uh, a lot of experience and insight into relationships and dynamics in their groups. Corn, corn, corn. Nothing but corn. Nothing but corn. Nothing but corn. lights were. Oh, look at that. Thunderstruck. Claymore. That's 28. 10. Hmm. Or given an angle of attack. Not that bad. Not that bad. Right, I've used angle of attack. Thank you. I've used a hundred stamps. I can only I can what? I can only use a hundred stamps. Really? Angle of attack! That does sound like an interesting person to know. My youth pastor is a retired Marine FBI agent and drove the Ronald Reagan's wife's cab. And wow! That's awesome. Thank you. 
Hey, found that. Like it? That's good to be close. I'm glad. I am going to literally go through every one of these places before I get... before I find it. I just feel like when she moves away, she'll have to deal with the financial with financial problems she's never been close to facing. No. Whatever you're gonna do. No. There is no time. I'm muted. You're welcome. There is no time is activated. Thank you, and you're welcome. Okay, fine. Here we go. I've got to try to play with Claude's. Ah, okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that. I just found it. What's around here on the other side? What's around here, huh? What's around here? What's around here? What's around here? Ah. Uh, Found it! Oh yeah! Yeah! The Desert Labyrinth, I did it! Here we go! It's really hard to play the with the controller this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. Ay, ay. Okay, great. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Delhi Laramaga. I've man entered this. You've already proven your worth. Dilly dilly.
armor once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. The war paint bolsters your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. Oh man! Oh man! You have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule! In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb! Hawaii wasn't a state until 18 years after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Wow, really? He's smiling. Uh oh, I hear a baby. Oh, the gate is gone. I was like, wait, I could have just gone down that ladder to begin. Red, really? Okay. Our gate! I gotta save. If I hop, if I hop off soon, just saying bye. Well, thank you, Lucas, for coming by and hanging out. Hopefully, it did you some good to be able to process uh, the conversation that you were wanting to process. And uh, we're always here for more advice if you need it. Running, 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 running. Catch my breath, catch my breath, catch my breath, catch my breath, catch my breath. You should really play Terry if The Grinch! As I'm dressed as a Therizid, well, fine. We'll just see how we sound like the Grinch if I'm going to be a Therizid that sounds like the Grinch. Or I could be the Grinch wearing a mask. I do love wearing masks when I go visit Hoos in Whoville. When Christmas comes back around, I'm going to try to steal it again. And then give it back. And then steal it again and give it back. It's part of the gimmick now. That's, that's what it is. If I be so happy in this morning, this is a guaranteed... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, why, 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 why? You serious? You've got to be kidding me. I walked right straight up to that thing. Crazy. Can I, can I, can I stop at the stasis? Isn't that just the Joker, but less well-known? Oh, that's true! Yep, that is true! It... Wow, it doesn't last very long. 
That's really difficult. Is, is my Therizino time over yet? I think it is. I think uh, Therizino time is over now. Alright. Alright. I need to tell Keyline bye. Oh, wait. Alright. Welcome back. Oh, I gotta put my hat on. right away Oops Own explosion, count it. <laughs> that was that was my plan the whole time. I did it. That was my plan the whole time. All right, now that it's seven o'clock. Okie dokie. All right, where are we going? Gotta go here. And, okay. My face, I am facing it. It's like, it's directly out there. I still have some memories to find. Like Zelda's memories. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? What is this going on? Oh, I just missed a mushroom. There's a fire up there. With a man standing there. Let's see what he has to say. I glitch uh, is that if you stasis a guardian right after using Ur uh, Urbosa's Fury, it will tame it. Ah, oh, interesting. You have me on your hat. At least one of those characters people associate with me. Oh, Totoro? Yeah. I do. This is, this is, I love this hat. All right, sir, who are you? Tracy. Ah. ah! What is this? Could it be? Are you that pretty gal I saw in Gerudo Town? I'm right, aren't I? Don't try to hide it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you wear. These eyes see all. Tracy wasn't born yesterday, after all. Huh? <gasps> Oh, I see, I see. It's because only women can enter Gerudo Town. Clever boy. That's quite the scoop, but I'm sure you had your reasons. I'll keep that gossip to myself. That's called integrity.
You probably guessed as much, but I'm tracking down some juicy gossip. Since you're here, I'll do you a favor and let you in on a rumor I haven't been haven't even published yet. Just when you thought you could relax when the divine beast had settled and the lightning had stopped. <gasps> Boom! A mysterious Malduga shows up. How's that for a scoop? Apparently the Gerudo soldiers tried fighting it, but normal swords didn't even make a dent. Ah. Uh... I wonder what weapon would work against something like that. Mulduga? I, I, need, I, I need to get Mulduga guts. All right, there's tons of stuff going on here. Let's... Champion of Urbosa's song. Here we go. The scattered one hit obliterator led you to a location where a stone monument with a map of trials appeared. Past the song seems to. One, fight the brute of the sand. Mulduga. Okay? Two things. Two, chase rings upon the land. Throw the orb underground. Okay. Well, I've been wanting to do this anyway. It is now night. I wanted to make my way over here, which means I need to put on sand boots. I can see no thing now. I can see no thing. Oh. Nope. Nope, I haven't. What the? What do I fight it with?
What do I need? I get I almost have him dead. It's just he like hits me once. Oh. Yeah, exactly. That was great. I need a defense boost. Uh Let's do this. Let's do this. I gotta figure out how to lure him out. Is I've got to figure out how to get him back out of the sand again without him hitting me. That's the hard part. Ur Urbosa's fury worked. Or given an angle of attack. Not that bad, not that bad. I was able to get it that first time. I just don't know how to. If I can just somehow get it. There's a way to do it.
That doesn't do it either. I almost had it that first time. I got lucky. So if I can get it in all three. <sighs> I'm gonna figure this out. Oh my gosh. It's like tremors out here, except this thing has legs. Yeah. Okay, I figured it out. Part of it. Okay.
Oh, now you're like... What are you doing, buddy? Maybe it's Dark Breath of Souls. Exactly. Not quick enough. Dark breath of the souls, exactly. Come back. Give me the guts. Give me the guts. I want the guts. Give me the guts. Ah. Woo. Andre Isaac. Hello, hello, hello! Look at all of these cool weapons that I can't pick up anything of. Uh, do I get guts? I can't pick that up either. My inventory is full. I want the gold. Alright, I have a golden bow, I guess, already. Another shield. Okay, so my inventory is full of all this stuff. I'll at least... Oh, which bow's broken? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I really like that one. It is almost broken, though. What? What may disappear when I leave? All this stuff? Ah. Uh, do you think it's worth having a blizzard rod? Rusty Halberd. I think I'm good with other stuff. But I don't have any. Uh, the only f spear I have is a flame spear. Rah, 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 rah. Oh. Long throw? I can throw that thing? Okay. I've got to take out one of these. I was, I was marking all the chests that I found, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because then I can mark this as weapons. Okay. so much for the follow. I really appreciate that.
welcome Andre Isaac 2000 to the Raptor Pack. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I realized this was your first time chat and you put these not like this emojis and then you welcome in here. Very good. Come in. Uh, thank you very much. I missed that one comment because I was busy fighting that Moldoga logo 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 thingy. Woo! Thank you so much for the follow. I think I've said that three times now, but I really appreciate it. Oh, look at that moon going down really fast. That's really, really fast. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. You have entered a very encouraging community, a great group of people. Welcome to the Raptor Pack. I play Breath of the Wild. I am gonna be moving on to Tears of the Kingdom. I also play Apex and Overwatch and a variety of other games when I can. But I've been working my way through Breath of the Wild because I had started in 2020, which is already four years late after it came out. But this game still holds up, even that many years later. Ha! That's no moon. That's a space station. All right, what do we got going on here? I hear electricity. I love these shrines. They, they ha I have to do some crazy task to unlock the shrine and then I still have to, big or small. Okay. We have an impression for Sean Connery. I have to say, this is the most unlikely thing that I could ever imagine. Because I already got done fighting a giant fish sand thing. And if I'm going to go fish for the sand thing, then I'm also going to have to finish this. And this is not what I was expecting to have to do. But we're going to do it anyway. Because I'm Sean Connery. And that is what we do. Now I just got to figure out how to make this work. Oh. This is interesting, to say the least.
It makes it go up. I see how it did how what it what it, yep, yep, yep. Got it that far. And now This is more complicated than I realized. Oh no! Probably won't last much longer. That is okay, Yobi. That is okay. I need to use a switch to do this. Got to be something that I am missing here. I got that connector.
I need <coughs> Yeah. Right. Only three blocks. Okay. Let's see what this does. I knew it. So there's there's a way to Tell ya, I always forget, always forget about the ice blocks. Okay, now I have to pull out the switch itself.
and do it on here. I wish that I could show you what I'm doing. I'm using the tilt function. To line these up. Oh, I see. It's not what I wanted to do. Ah, so close. Ah, so close. It's freaking out. I don't know what it's doing. Ugh. These ones where you have to use the switch. Like, I'm I'm way over to the side now. It's really crazy.
I know. Yeah, it's I, it's a motion control thing that I need to do. And I can't do it when the, the switch is plugged into the dock. My gosh, why does it do that? You made my heart skip a beat. Oh, come on. Come on. I understand why why it's making me do it this far over like this. I don't know what was different about that and what was, ah, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry right now. Not even funny. I'm hungry or, or meat. Ah, <sighs> 12.06. Oh my gosh. All that for the radiant shield that I already have? Alright, it's a little bit better one. Okay, good.
Wow. Dragon, you made my heart skip a beat when you did that T-Rex scare. I was concentrating and my heart went Bleh. And I was like, ah, inside. Okay. Nebora's emblem, the commemorative symbol of a lightning trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Well. Okay, then. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Two remain. Great. Wonderful. Okay, then. I really want to go out to this. Dragon's Exile. Because I think that there's something out here that I've been waiting to try to do for a very long time. It's way out there. <gasps> I saw everything. I can't believe you were able to defeat that Molduga. That weird Molduga. I'm speechless. Me? Okay, not really. But this is this this has scoop written all over it. Mind if I write a tell all about you? Hmm. I see. How unfortunate. You would have been swimming in female attention and adoring fans, you know. I mean, I mean it. You're that impressive. Well, that's your decision. To mess up, I'll just have to dig around Gerudo Town for a way more interesting scoops. For a way more interesting scoops. Mm hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's a sandstorm. a lot of desert to explore. We're going to the dragon! Dragon! We're going to the dragon. I didn't do the editing. I'm exhausted. I'm almost done cleaning up down here. Okay. Well, when I'm done, I might be able to help get that audio in there. I mean, like, there's only so much we can do. If I don't have my tools and we don't have the, their tracks...
Annual report, yay! I need to send you something. Don't submit it until I send you something. Ooh, I've got a long ways to go. This would take a lot longer without the snow, the sand boots. There's a sandstorm ahead. I see that sandstorm. Pieces, huh? <laughs> wow. There's so much desert. There's so much desert. times that I waste that. Thank you. Uh, so what needs to be done on that still? Just the... 
audio and when you're gonna send it and everything. Oh dear. Oh dear. There's another Maldoga! Great! I've gotta get to high ground! Welcome! Thank you, Sudi Sudi, for hanging around and watching and everything. Let's try this again. Give me the guts. I need the Balduga guts. Give me the guts. Then guts. I got the guts. A giant organ obtained from Malduga. This invaluable ingredient is hard to come by, and it's used in its and its use is shrouded in mystery. Ah, I got the guts. Good, 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 good to be good. I got the guts. Royal halberd. Let's check. 
Long throw. Frost spear. Okay. But of course. There's a skull over here. That one. <coughs> and I'm going to try to avoid... straight line. I could fall asleep to Breath of the Wild footsteps or rather- yeah, yes! King Chaos 25! Hello, welcome into the Raptor Pack and the Laughing Raptor stream. I am Laughing Raptor. Good to see you. I am... yeah. My wife is similar. for the follow king welcome in i'm so glad that you are here thank you for coming to hang out and saying hi and for the follow i really appreciate it i'm hoping to stumble upon uh, some dragon bones here but it's really hard to see but you're absolutely right. You can fall asleep for uh, listening to the sounds of Breath of the Wild. Ooh, I found it. I found all the things. 
I found all the things. I found All right, hold on. The eastern sky from the skull's left eye. It better be this skull. I just found a shrine. I found a great fairy. And the dragon's skeleton. There's someone who uploaded a 20 hour video of the full game, no commentary, and I've used that to, oh my goodness, I, I should try that. That would be, that would be incredible. Cause yeah, there's something about Breath of the Wild, just having it playing in the background. My wife's the same way, where she'll just like, like to have it playing in the background. It's like, I don't know, it's therapeutic. Therapeutic in a way. Oh my. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Kawakoth. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer you this trial. <sighs> That's funny. The current solution. Okay. Let's see. What do we got to move around here? Gotta get... Guess we're gonna have one here and one here. Oh dear. So King, where are you uh Where are you coming from? Are you like are you in a oh! Are you in a late night time zone? Are you in an early morning time zone? Oh no! Well, at least I, at least I got through that. Fire blight. Oh, fire blight. Yep. 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 Western time. Cool. So you are... Oh, hi guys! Three hours behind me. So you're about, it's about 9.30 there? Oh, man. Sweet. Great. That's great. <sighs> the only arrows I have right now. But it works! I've got a little bit of a cold, not bad, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, I just actually... Just... Um... Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Holy... What? Oh! <laughs> oh, that spooked me. Okay. Okay, so. Oh. 
Ridico 2! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Laughing Raptor stream. I am Laughing Raptor. And. We are, you know, just doing some challenges. Very slowly making through the challenges. How are you, Ridico? Rid. Brid. Bridico? Am I saying your name right? Bridico? Bridico? Uh... In any case, it is great to see you. No one does that. You pronounced it correctly? No one does that ever. I'm doing okay. You got it right the first time. Uh, uh, with Vertico. Oh, okay. Vertico. Yeah. Doing good. That's good. That is good. I'm about to see if this thing is gonna... Oh, gosh! What? Why? Does that keep freaking me out? <laughs> I disabled the electricity. What happened here? Okay, what? We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. How's this? There's stuff happening. I have not fought Ganon yet. I've been waiting to kind of complete other things first. In the DLC, I am... I did the first set of challenges in... Um, Champion's Ballad. And now the weapon split into four pieces. And so I am doing the Naboris challenges first. Oh, oh, oh. Champion's Ballad is part of the DLC. Uh, yeah, it's part of the DLC. It's it's like um, a bunch of challenges that you can do to gain extra experience and power. I wish that I waited to fight again before, after, because the story was going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I think that's the way that my wife did it. Now she's playing Tears of the Kingdom, and I... Uh... I never... F I never finished this. I started playing this in 2020. Which is already four years late. Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
Unless after beating Breath of the Wild, you're seriously craving more, I'd wait a bit before playing to the game. You won't have the energy. Aha! Yeah. I mean, I love playing this game. I think what will happen is I will take a break with some other things, like... I do play some Apex and Overwatch. Um, and I have a backlog of some other games that I want to play as well. I've, I've started playing Baldur's Gate 3. 2. Baldur's Gate 3, 2. 3, 2. 3 as well. Hey! So I'll probably do that a little bit before I go into Tears of the Kingdom. Even though I love playing Zelda games. Usually I'm decked out with like a Zelda hat and things. I need to turn in the spirit orbs that I have. I have 11 of them. I need, to, I need to turn them in at some point. Oh, man. By the way, Genshin released another continent. What? Just in case you wanted a heads up, I logged in recently and got... You got a what? Uh-oh. Looks like I might need to... Alright. So, I don't hear the fairy... Music? So... I feel like this is gonna be another one of those, I think it's a fairy, but it's other some spirit thing. But we'll see. Yeah, I should start playing Genshin again. That'd be another good stream, like intermediate. Ha ha ha! Todd brought up Genshin in a Breath of the Wild stream. The no, <laughs> no, I love Genshin just as much as I love this. <laughs> These things creep me out, though. Uh, uh. Yeah, Dragon and I have played lots of Genshin. Hey, actually, Dragon has over has played more than I have and gotten characters that I wish that I could get. Ah, uh, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure. <laughs> I am the Great Fairy Terra. Okay, so we are a Great Fairy. We know that much, at least. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. Oh my gosh, I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 1,000 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Ah! Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need a thousand rupees. Sure. Uh, just snatch them. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. Uh -huh. Ah! Hi. Hi. You have very, very large hair. Very large hair. Cuff, cuff. Ah, well, hello there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, cool. Master mode. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, it, it, it's... When I first started it, I was like... I I'd started it with a friend back near 2016. And then I started it again in 2020. I was like, okay. It's fun, but it's taking me a while to get into it. And then when Tears of the Kingdom came out years later, I'm like, okay, I just need to sit down and I need to buckle up and play it. I am the great fi Earth. Oh, Earth. I am the great Earth fairy Terra. Terra? Terraform? I am the oldest of the four sisters. Four. Now I know there's four. I have found three of them. I have been watching your activities from inside my bud all this time. And haven't you been busy swinging that sword around, adventuring? I'm not just making wild assumptions, you know. I truly do see all. Mm hmm? Um, I'll prove it to you right now. I'll predict what you are thinking right at this moment. Huh? You're probably thinking... Can't we just skip to the part where she enhances my clothing, right? I mean, if only life didn't have so many other demands to tackle all the video game backlogs. I know! I know, right? Actually, what I was thinking was I was thinking how big your hair is. <laughs> Looks like I hit the mark, hmm? <laughs> well, no, not really, but okay. What an impatient person. Why don't you show me the clothing you want to have enhanced? Depending on what materials you have on hand, I should be able to enhance your clothing. But it all depends. Huh? With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Ooh! You can enhance the tunic of time? Wait, we need star fragments for that. <laughs> yeah, here I am playing games that really have no ends, while the other game I bought to play through the years ago sits on a proverbial Steam shelf. Yep. That's me with every Zelda game, but Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, I enjoy the older ones. It just takes me more time, more forcing to get into it. Yeah. I'm assuming you've passed, you've passed to phased of forcing yourself to play. Oh, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it now. Yes, absolutely. I'm thoroughly enjoying these now. Ooh. Okay. So, I need star fragments to enhance these things. I mean, might as well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she just... Blue air on me. A great fairy has increased its defense by one. Lovely. Nah. Nah. I've heard of the isle. I don't think I've played it yet. I've heard of it, though. Let's see. <sighs> All right, so Might as well do this again. Huh? 
<laughs> Two levels. <laughs> Yes, let's do shock resistance, flame breaking armor. This would be nice. Mm -hmm. Dinosaur game. When you're on a multiplayer server and you start as a baby and need to survive to an adult hunt for food. Oh, wow. It sounds like Ark, sort of. Yeah, well, it's funny because I I did lots of Ark streaming. I should do go back to some of that. Oh. Uh. Huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. I don't have a star fragment. I could do this again. all kinds of things here. And they're all different. Sure. Mm Sometimes I'm so good, it's scary. Is that it for that? I think I would enjoy that. I think I would enjoy that game. Definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. It's like the first one is a blowing a kiss. The second one is kissing the finger and then touching his face. The third one is like, here comes a big kiss. Oh, 
Oh, now I need a smother wing butterfly. Oh. Huh? My favorite? <sighs> I really like the, the Zora armor. Um, because I can swim fast in that. <laughs> I think that's been my favorite, other than, um, mm -hmm. other than like unlocking the Ocarina of Time outfit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I use a lot, but I do like the Zora armor. <laughs> Favorite sword? I've enjoyed using like the frost blade and the flame blades. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with the master sword. Oh. But oh, favorite melee. I I really like. <laughs> Here I go with the Zoras again. Um, Mifa's uh, trident. Um, I like fighting with the spears a lot um, because I can. I have reach, but second, like second to the spear, like if I'm using, like sword and shield is always really fun. So once I finally got the master sword, I'm like. That's what I like. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I guess you can only do three. Mm hmm. Sure. Why not? I've been saving up all of these resources for something and might as well use them here. I love the Zora weapons, but the Gerudo Scimitar... Oh, that's true. Yeah, especially Scimitar of the Seven. Is what's... Yeah. What found fond memory of exploring the labyrinth and finding a flame sword. I really... Yes. The flame swords are excellent. Yeah. You can't go wrong with a master sword, though. Oh. Can't go wrong there. Mm -hmm. Hylian trousers.
I can sell these sapphires and things. Again. not played Skyward Sword HD yet. I saw it. I saw it at a Best <laughs> Buy. And, uh, it was one of those cases, protective cases, that had the cardboard in it, and you have to take it up front. So there was one, it was on clearance. I was like, I'd like to get this. They're like, oh, we don't have any more. Sold out. And why do you have the case still on the, the shelf? There were two of them on the shelf. Why do you have the case on the shelf? You're sold out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Ah, right, one more time, I guess, for this. Oh. I know. I was like, clearance too? That would have been great. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, uh, I imagine. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let's just finish him off. to it's like what if that one ah. oh. Oh. oh what a shame well then I'm heading home Bye. Bye. Eastern sky from the skull's left eye.
I don't know if this is going to be it. This is the left eye. Protection is now ready to roll. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, the riddles, they have a way of and fuzzling you. Uh, a big sand fish monster thing. Yeah. Yeah, Molduga. Yeah, I was like, what was the name of it again? Well, I don't know what skull they mean. I guess I will figure it out eventually. something there. I want to check that out next. I have not. I have not killed a Lionel yet. Oh. Okay. 
Maybe that's it. It's so weird, because there's so many skulls. You'd think it'd be the biggest skull. But I don't see nothing here. There ain't no shooting star here. <laughs> Gotta add that to the bucket list. Oh yeah, I definitely do. Definitely do. All right, well, um, it's getting late for me. Let's see. Who might we have here that I could raid oh we got some something on the mouse who could we raid I've got to get some sleep. I gotta. I've got work in the morning. Oh, yeah. We could go, preacher guy. He's playing Apex. That would work. All righty. All right, so here we go. <sighs> yep. Thank you, King, for coming by. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the follow, for um, hanging out, and uh, I will be live again tomorrow night. Um, I do Twitch on Tuesdays, Twitch on Wednesdays, and I'm trying to move to doing Kick on Saturday mornings. Um, we'll see if that still happens, because my, my schedule's been a little bit wonky recently, but... Um, uh, I definitely do Tuesdays evenings and Wednesdays evenings on Twitch here. So, um, great to have you. Great to have you, uh, as part of the, the group, the Raptor pack. And thank you all to the rest of you who've been lurking and hanging out. This has been a, this has been a good night. It's been a good night. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And I bid you all a very good evening and good night. Um, or morning, or wherever it is that you're watching from. We're going to raid Preacher Guy. Let's send him that raid love. He's playing Apex. He's an excellent Apex player. And um, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. In five, four, three, two one.